Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul. I'm going to do the uh, expedition today, as you can see by looking at my screen. I uh, want to give you a heads up. I do my recordings sometimes late in the afternoons. Uh, I sometimes do them on the weekends. And when I'm doing these recordings, my family tends to be around. So there may be some noise in the background on occasion. I just ask that you please, I'll, I'll try to mute when I can, but please ignore any of the noises that come up in the background. Camera's not on, so you're just going to enjoy the game for what it is. Um, so as we start this expedition, I'm just going to go ahead and get it started. I've already played it through. I did a live, um, live stream on YouTube on the 24th of February and uh, lasted me five and a half hours to get it done. But of course, I was playing it without any knowledge whatsoever of the expedition. I just went fresh into it. I hadn't gotten any hints or clues about what to expect. So I'm going to try playing it a little bit quicker and I'm going to do it in episodes. So we're going to let these episodes, I got my recording going, it's a minute in, we're going to let this go about an hour, and then we're going to go ahead and call it. And then I'm going to do another episode for about an hour, and we're going to call it, etc., etc., etc. We're going to do it like that. So you can see how the game is played, you can see some of the, uh, the changes. The expedition is done such a way as to make things a little bit more difficult. You're in a derelict system, in other words, the space station there is abandoned. There's nothing there. The premise is that the Utopia Foundation took over the system, and there's been a lot of weird things happening here. So you're trying to reestablish bases on all the planets in the system, and trying to get things going again, clean things up, that kind of thing. So that's the premise of the storyline. Things are going to be more difficult here. This is not a permadeath mode. Um, it's more normal mode with maybe some heavier survival aspects. So that's what we're looking at here. You don't seem to have many storms here either, even though the temperatures are pretty high and everything like that, you seem to avoid them. So that's good. The only thing I'm going to mention right from the st start of this, uh, a lot of people are very upset over the fractal update. I just want to be very clear about folk, to the, uh, with you folks. If you've seen my little short video I did about the fractal update, my speculations, I did say you're probably looking at a slight graphics upgrade to this for the VR2 and probably some gameplay upgrades. That's pretty much what we've seen here. And everybody is blowing gaskets over it. So please, calm down, folks. It's a game. And Hello Games has to clean up in order to be able to promote things being done in the future. So the future updates that they come out with need to be based on the system, uh, pardon me, on, on, a, on a better game experience. And if the game itself isn't doing so well, if you've got a lot of glitches, a lot of problems in it, throwing more updates at it, big updates, and then advances into the game are going to corrupt the main database for this game. So it's going to help the game in the future. So embrace it. Don't reject it immediately. Don't freak out every single time there's an update that isn't meeting your, your expectations. Calm down. Take a deep breath. I can tell you this, my sky base is all sorts of messed up. <laughs> Every single one of the components on my sky base is missing. It's completely dark. I've got my platforms. I got the base. I had no doors. I couldn't even get inside. It was hilarious. So I'm looking forward to doing a spring cleaning and changing it up a little bit. That's all. So we're starting in a very interesting area. Um, you'll notice that if I hit my button, there's no analysis visor. We cannot install it. So pay attention to what it's saying down there. So we need to establish a base. So if we check, you'll see that you have a base computer. Now I want to show you something. If I go into my inventory right now and I try to create something, like say I want to create a nanotube, okay, it's saying insufficient resources and view craft steps. Okay, well that's fine. Let's go ahead and get some carbon. And let's show you what happens. Now first of all, the resources needed to complete this is going to be pretty big. You know, I think the audio, I think the music is really, really loud. Um, let me just adjust that real quick. Hang on a second, real fast here. Let's bring that down just a little bit. There we go. That's a little better. It's a little more easier to deal with. Okay. So, and, and the re again, the resources cost a lot more. You know, when you established a base, normally it would require like 30 chromatic metal to make a base computer. It now requires. 200 chromatic metal and 500 magnetized ferrite so it's very expensive now see we have 196 now let watch what happens here if i try to create a carbon nanotube you can only 
while in the expedition create parts in your inventory while you're in with within your base area so it is exceptionally important very important to create a base as soon as possible settle down and ride it out okay so i'm just going to take a quick peek around we've got a cave over there we do need cobalt you're going to need some batteries but you're going to get some you won't need any uh, that many but you'll need some later on and you're going to need ionized cobalt later on as well and some ferrite and things like that this seems like a pretty decent spot let me go ahead and drop a computer down we have one base computer in our inventory now I'm going to try something a little different. I left a base on every planet. What I'm going to try to do is remove my base. I don't want to see what happens. Okay. And Utopia thanks you for your... You notice it's really strange. It's almost like advertising. It's... Uh, if you remember the movie... I'm not going to mention the Disney movie uh, WALL-E right now. And I know that's kind of a copyright thing. Really enjoyed the movie. And full credit goes to them for that movie. Remember what it was like with the buy and low people. Same thing. Utopia Archives reveals no prior settlement attempts to this site. Utopia thanks you for your prompt completion of your settlement assignment. It's very strange how all this plays out. Now, I'm not going to go through reading all of them because that will be boring the life out of everybody. But uh, we're going to go ahead and just settle in here and get our base built. Okay, so now we're, we've got a base, right? Now we can create things. So, let's jump over here. We have to establish a base, so we should get the... Let me see, select foundation, blah, 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 let me just go ahead and select it. Okay, so here it is. That should be it. It's telling us to do it, it's already in our log, it's going to give us a completion here in just a minute, we do need that. While we're waiting, let's get some ferrite dust. And some carbon. Now, it's not telling us anything just yet about the completion of my first task. I don't know why. Oh, okay, right. I forgot about the one main thing. Now that we have a base, it doesn't really tell you this just yet. You have to build your base. And it has to be big enough that you can upload it. My suggestion is... I've tried a 4x4 four four and it wasn't enough. I'm going to go 6x6. Six six. I went with a 9 scale one. We're going to build some walls. How many can we build? We can build 7 walls with the amount of carbon we have. Don't bother with the doors, folks. Okay? Honestly. You get to a point and it's going to recognize that you've built a base. Okay? And you're going to need a lot of carbon in this game. So when you do fix your ship and you do take off, I suggest using your ship to do a little strafing runs on the ground. Yeah. Gather up everything. You notice at the bottom right, it's now telling us I need to build a roof. See? So. And obviously you're going to have to recharge your mining beam. There is condensed carbon here. You will come across it on occasion. Gather it up when you can. You're going to need it. Another big hint. You're going to need a ton of chromatic metal so if we don't if we collect our base and it works and we get our chromatic metal and stuff out of it i suggest that that you just keep doing that in order to keep creating bases because it's the only way you're going to get things done you will need some oxygen later on go ahead and gather it you don't need a ton of it because here's something you're going to learn too your life support will not accept oxygen you have to use life support gels okay how do you get that? You know it. Dihydrogen crystals. Now, they've also nerfed this, okay? They've realized that we were getting uh, some very nice returns on dihydrogen, right? That we would take 40 dihydrogen to make a uh, dihydrogen gel. And then when you put it in your refiner, and you get 50 back. So, let me go ahead and charge that up a little bit. There we go, and let's get a little more carbon. So, they have nerfed it. I haven't checked to see what the return is yet in the regular gameplay, but I'll check it later on. Okay, we should be able to have enough to create what we need. Let's put some roofing in. I'm going to pull back a little bit so I can just build it.
Okay, so that's our base. Okay, we established a base. That's all we had to do. Don't go crazy building huge bases here. Okay, folks? Honestly, it's not really worth it. Unless you're planning to come back here and you're planning on using this as your main save. It's not really worth doing it. So we, we get some stuff out of this. We've got our analysis visor now that we can build. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see. Personal refiner. So you don't have to build a refinery. Uh, let's go over to multi-tool. And move things around a little bit while we're here. You're going to get some uh, analysis, uh, pardon me, scanner upgrades too. So kind of put those things aside. Let's put our analysis visor in. We need a carbon nanotube. And now that we're within our base, as you know, we can build that. And we have our analysis visor. Now, of course, it's a good way to make some money. So by all means, scan animals. Um, you're probably not going to get a chance to scan all the animals around here. But, you know, you'll scan a whole bunch. Yeah, scan the inorganic objects, too, because you got secondary elements in some of these that are worthwhile. Now, later on, you're going to be using it to scan animals and plants on other planets when you get there. There we go. That one's on the other side of the hill. That's good enough for now. See, I, I've gotten a little bit of money out of this. 5,300. It's not a whole lot, but, you know, it'll do for now. So, what's our next step? Let's check our objectives if we should, if we can. Uh, we need to craft survival essentials. Uh, life support gels and ion batteries. So, how do we get those? Remember I said, hey, look, there's a cave over there. Yeah, let's go to that cave now, wherever I left it. I don't remember where it was now. Blah, 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 blah. Looks like it's over here. And in case you're wondering, multiplayer is off right now. Oh, there we go. Huh, I'm going to get some platinum out of it. We could use that for money, so we'll go ahead and take it in. Some more cobalt. And like I said, everything costs more. So keep that in mind. You're going to need the cobalt. You're going to need everything. Um, the space station is a derelict space station, so you're not going to get too many materials from there. It does have some stuff. It's got some phosphorus up there. It's got some uranium. Those are very handy, as we all know. Let, let me drop down there. Uh, let's see. Nope. I need more. Interesting. Watch out for your hazardous plants. There's some more cobalt there. We'll take that. Like I said, we're going to need a lot of it. Not a whole total. No, like, we're not going to need like thousands of it, but you know. gather as much as I can right now. Oh, platinum again. That's good. More cobalt. All right. Yeah, I know this is kind of boring right now, but like I said, you kind of need it, so you might as well get it while you can. Got to keep an eye on the laser here. should we get, by the way? 500, huh? That's pretty good. Hey. And we got ourselves some ionized cobalt. That's really handy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'll put some carbon in there. Jeez. Alright, so we got hydrogen. Uh, dihydrogen. We need more dihydrogen. Um, definitely need more of that. So let's go find some. That was weird. Hey, look, dihydrogen. Isn't that convenient? 
So your first hour or so is going to be a lot of resource gathering, and again, you need a ton of copper uh, in order to build the chromatic metal. Um, so if, the, like I said, the base thing doesn't work out, I suggest finding some copper deposits and keep mining. You're going to need probably in the area of, I'm going to guess, gosh, about 3,000. 3,000 copper, at least 1,500 chromatic metal. Because uh, each base requires 200. That's 2468 uh, of the rest of the bases. Um, you need magnetized ferrite. There's actually one of the planets you land on will have a magnetized ferrite deposit. So you're going to want to get that too. Um, get carbon as often as you can. Again, strafe the planet later. Just do this when you can so you can build up your uh, resources here. Okay. So I think I can make some gels. Yeah, I can make at least two gels, I think. See, they require 40. If I can get two, and that's going to give me two life support shells. We need carbon. See, 100 carbon, right? Okay. And we just ate up all of our carbon, like just like that. Unbelievable. Okay, and in order to get these, we need ferrite dust. So let's get more of that. And we're going to get some dihydrogen out of those too, so that's good. Almost sunset here. But it's okay. Uh, the, the weather here is not bad. We need more carbon. Gosh, I wish I could find some condensed carbon right about now. Let's gather up a whole bunch of carbon while we can. few hundred carbon here. Okay, we got 300 in there, so that's good. Let's get some more carbon. Now, if you're wondering about the second item, you can go ahead and, and, and analyze it. You're going to get oxygen out of it. It's not a bad idea to get it. Because, again, you can use the dihydrogen as well. But as you know, you don't get a whole lot. You can analyze our mushroom. Uh, that one we've already analyzed. These round mushrooms we haven't done yet, but that's okay. They've only got carbon in them. But we're getting money for it. Okay, so what we're going to have to do here... It says refine chromatic metal to install a bolt caster. So we're going to need chromatic metal from copper. So now that we have this, let's look for as many copper deposits as we can find. Sodium. Copper is at 213. Finium. What's that one up there? It's copper at 225. So we've got a couple copper mines here near, near here. Okay, let's head towards that one. Well, how much time we got going here? 20 minutes in. <sighs> Gotta wait. First tier unit here. So you see, you, you get these fields of rock here, so this will be very handy when you blast off with your ship. Find these bare spots and just take them out. And you notice there's no sentinels yet. One of the planets you're going to get to has also got aggressive sentinels there. And you will not be able to do a thing while you're there. Unless you just get rid of the sentinels. So unless you can find a place to shut them down, you're going to go through five levels of fighting with the sentinels in order to just shut them down and tell them to leave you alone. With some very basic weapons. Alright, where, oh where did you go? Supposedly, it's right here. Must be one of those deposits. I don't see it. The 
Yep, it's right here. Very, very reduced mine. Okay, so there was another one nearby. Let's go check that one out. Right up there. There we go. Just adjust that while I'm thinking of it, because otherwise I'll have problems. This is a nice one. This is a good mine. much as this stuff as you can get. I had no idea how much I was going to need. It was just absolutely incredible. I mean, I was sitting there mining and mining and mining for ages, it seemed like, in order to, so that I could have enough copper to get by. So very good idea to go ahead and mine as much as this as you can. Let me put you on pause for just a second, guys. I'm going to continue mining as much copper as I can. And I'm going to tell you about how much time it took in order to get this far. So, stay tuned. And in case you were wondering, I somehow became muted again, and I'm still trying to figure out how that keeps happening. So, I've been talking for about 
good five minutes here trying to tell you all what was going on. And basically what's happened so far is that I was able to acquire about 900 copper in order to go inside this refiner. Um, and we've turned that into the chromatic metal you see. We've used some to create a bolt caster like it was asking us to do. And we've went ahead and uploaded our base now. Uh, and I'll keep saying too, carbon, ferrite, you need lots of that. You're going to need a lot more chromatic metal, probably about another 1100 if taking apart our base is capable of giving us stuff back we're going to see what happens so that's where we stand right now uh, the multi-tool we've added in our upgrade that it gave us it's not bad it's going to give us some more stuff out of it so that'll be good So, as you can see, there's just a lot of things that we're doing here, and I'm trying to find as many animals as I can. It looks like I got all the animals and all the um, uh, flying creatures. There's only three underwater ones left, as you can see. So, let's go ahead and continue on with the mission. So, it's telling us to display an exocraft. Now, it gave us the ability to build a teleporter, but I don't see us using it, and I haven't had to use one in the entire first run I did live. So, let's see what happens we have to travel by exocraft and everything like that so we're going to build the exocraft we're going to get that then we're going to just take apart our entire base and see what happens and then we'll take our exocraft to 2000 units to go to our starship so here we go let's uh what do we need to do to build our exocraft okay Oh, we didn't collect our reward. Sorry. There it is. My bad. We got some paraffinium, so the paraffinium is useful for building what we need to do. Uh, let's check our inventory real quick because... Yeah. Another upgrade for our mining laser. And you see we've got some paraffinium now. We're going to be using some of that here in just a minute. Okay. And we wants us to build a Nomad Geo Bay, so we need five metal plates. Hmm, let's see. How much does a metal plate cost? 50. It's no longer 10 or 20. It's 50. So we can get, looks like, three metal plates right now. Okay, so we're going to need more ferrite. Gather up as much as we can right now. And we'll get some carbon too while we're at it. We can always use that. Got some little rocks up on the hillside there, but that's better for getting when you're uh, in your ship. All right. And we'll go ahead and take that too, why not? I think we should have enough now. Barely. Barely enough. Oof. Okay, so we got what we need, I think. Let me see. We have two ion batteries and we had the paraffinium. So let's go ahead and build this. And we're there. And there's our ship. Establish local transport. Let's go ahead and collect the reward because it gives us some stuff for that. Now, you can build another one of these later on if you wish on another planet. But honestly, I don't think you're going to need it. Okay. There we go. Exocraft engine module. We're going to put that there next to there. And we're going to put that there. Okay. So we'll be able to go places very soon here. Hey, we got some condensed carbon. Excellent. Good for recharging. That'll be very handy. I forgot that was one of the prizes. All right, we're in good shape there. So, let's go ahead and get to our next stage of the expedition. Uh, let's see, so we've got to locate the starship and travel. Alright, so we're done with this base. So I'm going to experiment here. You're about to see me experiment. We're going to go ahead and start 
disassembling the base and collecting all of our carbon back and ferrite. Okay, good deal. Anything else? Let's jump in here real quick. Okay. And we're also going to collect that. So we get everything back from that. We're going to get our metal plates back. We're going to get our batteries back. We got everything now. Okay. Now let's see what happens. I want to see what happens if we disable the base. Delete the base. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now I want to see if we get a base computer back. Or at the very least we get our resources back from it. Now we didn't have to spend resources, but hopefully we got something back. We had about 396 chromatic metal. We did not get our base computer back. Nor did we get any chromatic metal out of it. So worthless to go ahead and delete the base. Other than to remove it so that, you know, you're not gumming up the, uh, the servers and stuff like that. So good to know. Um, and we do need more chroma chromatic metal going forward. So while we're here, we're going to do some stuff like this. Now I went ahead and took the liberty of finding my starship already. Let's go ahead and take it over. So now we'll have to, in, or, in order to repair our ship, we're going to have to reestablish a base there. So there's another 200 you're going to need on that, and not to mention magnetized, magnetized ferrite. Um, anytime you find this, get it. The condensed carbon, man. Restart, recharging beams, recharging stuff completely is very, very handy with this. Okay. All right, just wanted to grab that. All right. Yeah, there's another one. I am going to go ahead and grab it. I know this is the boring part. I don't know if I can grab this one. Yes, we can. And again, we don't have any sentinels yet. They should be popping on the scene soon. Uh, I've gone through at least one night. get all this stuff here real quick too while I'm here just because all right I don't think I can get those yet I can we just found money so with those upgrades we have ourselves some money so these are gonna give us good items and money's hard to come by early on so get these while you can Remember, you burn faster, the hotter you are, you mine faster, the hotter this thing is. Good deal. I'm going to go ahead and grab these while I can, because this is hard to come by. And when we get to the space station, what items there are, you're going to want to buy. And some of them are going to be metal plates and things like that. All right, we're in good shape. Let's see what we got out of this. Okay, we got some good stuff out of this. Because we're going to need some gold later and things like that. But all of this is very valuable. So we're 100, 125, 150, 175, 200. All right, 350,000 right there alone, uh, plus this, so 375. We're okay, we're in good shape. We're in really good shape for selling off some stuff. All right, where'd my uh, little ship go? There it is. So a little segue there. Gather up what you can in order to make money. All right, here we go. Now, I think we're going to hold off getting any more uh, condensed carbon. I think we got enough for now to keep us going for a little while. And you do get some more, I believe, later on in the expedition. Wow, that was quite a... Oh, my starship be over there. Alright, good deal. So we're going to head to that starship real quick here. 
And we're going to re-establish yet another base because that's what we have to do in order to build the parts required to repair the ship. See, we got our 2,000. And we are lucky enough to get yet another freighter hauler, pardon me, hauler. Alright, we got a, we got a uh, cave near here as well, which is good. It's going to be handy to get some more resources if we need them. But we're not going to need them just yet. So, we need to put a base computer down. See what I mean? Pure ferrite. It wasn't magnetized ferrite, pardon me. It was pure ferrite that we needed. And how do we get pure ferrite? You get it with ferrite dust. So, we need to get as much ferrite dust as possible. Fortunately, it's a one-to-one -one ratio between ferrite to, to pure ferrite. So, get what you can. We're obviously going to need 500 of it. But we have to establish a base. Now, what we could have done is, knowing what we needed to repair, we could have gathered up the resources while we are there. So, there's a little tidbit of information. While we were at our original base, gather up the hermetic seal and the metal plate that required for you to repair your ship get them first before you leave your original base. So there's a little bit of clue or something that can help you out down the road a ways. Don't worry about getting the words from these knowledge stones. You're not going to need them. Unless you just really care about that stuff. Alright, how much do we got? 400. We're getting there. Scare an animal. Um, he's not a very smart animal. Keep stepping in front of my laser. I got some water down there. I may go try to find those uh, three elusive creatures I needed. Alright, there we go. And we're at 600. Excellent. And we didn't get any pure ferrite out of it, but that's okay. I want to do this right. Hold on a second here. I'm just going to get 500 for now. There we go. While we're waiting, let's uh, let's take a ride. In the water we go. You know, it's funny. Because I don't know if this planet has any, but we do need some living pearls and stuff like that. Hey, sea creatures. One. That's an inorganic object, but that's okay. Before we run out of air. Okay, that's two. And we need one more. I don't know if we're going to find him in this uh, this water, but let's get these uh, living pearls while we can. That's two. Because I think we need three all total. There's another one over there. We do need crystal sulfides, too. I mean, it's another... Um, phase, if you will, of the expedition, but... Good deal. Just make sure there's no other sea creatures, because we have one more to get, and we can find all the creatures on this planet. Which just gives us, gives us a nanite boost. We don't, we can't really purchase anything. So keeping in mind, this is a derelict system. I'll say that again. This is a derelict system. There are no trade stations. There is nowhere to trade except the space station. It's the only place you can actually gather anything. And, ooh, we got an Abyssal Horror. Guess what we can get from him. I will go ahead and gladly take that.
That's worth hard cash, people. Okay, we got two more, I think. I think. Yeah, we got two. Okay, good. And is there another clam? There is another clam, because I think we need one more living pearl. Got it. There it is. So that was a whole nother scenario um, in a different phase completely. Okay, let's head over there. Go ahead and upgrade that. There we go. And you'll use those life support gels, don't worry. I was really hoping to get that third animal, but I may take the... Because I'm not playing a speed run right now, I may take the diversion and actually, uh, you know, go ahead and look for that third animal in one of the deeper oceans. There we go. Sent back to our ship. I wonder if we can get up this wall. I guess we're about to find out. Son of a gun. Very nice. Alright, let's check our... Here, good. Put you back in here. We don't have a lot of room left, but that's okay. We don't, we don't need much. Uh, we need a hermetic seal. Oh, wait, can't craft without. Uh, hold on. Do we have enough? We have enough. So, we'll do the base real quick. We'll be deleting this base again. I don't even want this base staying put. And I'm going to see if we can get the resources back out of it this time. Probably not, but now we know. All right. So let's go ahead and make our hermetic seal. And we have our metal plate. Let's check our starship real quick. We need 50 more pure ferrite and a dihydrogen jelly. But we have enough to fix this. And we should have enough for a dihydrogen jelly and a... Oh, we need the 50. Right. Let's go back over here. Do, 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 do. Where is our ferret dust? There it is. We only need 50. Okay, good deal. And look, look what we got here. And the thing is, we're not going to need a whole lot of stuff, and we don't have to actually build anything underwater. So it's good that we grab those. Um, let me check the... Do we have room for this? Yes, we do. Barely. Let's go ahead and repair the ship the rest of the way. There we go. The ship is now complete. I'm going to put you there. I'm going to put you there. We are going to get some upgrades later on. So I will just put stuff... Switch them around a little bit. Same thing with you. We'll put you over here for now. Okay, good deal. Okay, so, well, we don't have a lot of cargo space left. So we're going to have to be so, some sort of careful here, okay? Um, we should have enough to get some things done here. There's restored, okay? Let's head up to the space station. I think we can do that. We're going to say goodbye to our Exocraft. Thank you, Exocraft, for everything you were able to do for us. We should have enough room in our inventory, maybe. Let's go ahead in this, and we're going to delete the base. Now, again, I want to see if it's going to give us the base computer back or any materials back. It would be nice if it did. If it doesn't, we'll see what happens. I don't think it did. Nope, it did not. Okay, so something to keep in mind. Again, I need copper. We have sodium. We got sodium. Let's see what else we got near here. There's our outp outpost alpha, which we had to head to uh, in a little bit here. Copper over there is 646. Paraffinium. Paraffinium. Let's see, we've got some buried technology. I suggest uh, you might as well save just a couple of the buried technologies as you come across them. Otherwise, you can sell them and make some money off of those, okay? 
All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go look for my last creature. And we'll take a look. No harm in doing so, right? I'm going to try to get my last creature. I'm going to look for uh, ocean to land near and see if I can't find my last creature. I'm going to... Minor settlement. Fascinating. I may check that out and see if there's anything there. I am very, very curious about this. I didn't find one last time. Welcome, Utopia Settler. Welcome to the Utopia Foundation Communal Habitation Project. Industry in this system has been disrupted. Space station trade has fallen into recession. Manufacturing efficiency has been reduced by 83.98%. Let us work in harmony. Rebuild, renew, restore. Together we can construct a new civilization. Utopia takes the very best care of all settlers. Yeah. That is just creepy. It doesn't all get out. There we go. All right, where is this minor settlement at? I want to check it out first. No, not Atlanta. Oh, I can't believe there's something named Atlanta around here. All right, four and a half minutes out. I'm going to go ahead and take it to space and then take it the old-fashioned way. Because I want to see what that's all about. And again, I'm gonna I'm gonna blast into space a little bit. I'm gonna look for an ocean. I'm gonna land. I'm gonna see if I can find our last. Uh, guy. I want to see if this minor settlement has a trade terminal in it, or if it's completely defunct. I'm really curious as to what it looks like. Because rather than going to the space station, if I can sell everything I have on me here, we're in good shape. Okay. Looks like a pretty straightforward one. Let's see what we get. Oh, that's weird. And it has... Yeah, that was creepy looking. It has, oh wow, whispering eggs around it too. Well, let's see what it looks like in here. This is just crazy looking. Kind of glad I did find it. And we can sell stuff. Excellent. Alright, so what are we going to sell? We're going to sell the platinum. We don't need that. Keep the ionized cobalt. You need it. Get rid of the crystal sulfides. Oh, we didn't collect our rewards, but we'll get there in a minute. Dirty bronze. Oop, I sold the metal plating. I didn't intend to do that. Aronium, lemium, Magna magnagold, herox. Uh, the living pearls we're not going to need, and the hypnotic eye we're not going to need. I hate when it does that to me. Okay, let's buy. We got 500. Not bad. Um, Don't... You can make this. I wouldn't even bother with that. You do need microprocessors. They're expensive, but you're going to end up needing five of those at some point, if I remember correctly. I will take a couple of these. Uh, ferrite dust. Let's just take it all. There's not much here anyway. Cobalt. Sure, we'll do the same thing. Uh, what do we got? Dioxide. We can't use. Uranium. Just take it. Silver. Rare. I don't think we need that. I am going to go ahead and purchase those back, but you know what? I'm going to get about 10 of those. We got a lot of money up there. It's not a terrible amount, but it's a lot. I'm going to go ahead and get the five market processors. We needed it for something, and I don't remember what off the top of my head. All right, let's put this in the starship. Uranium definitely goes in the starship. Keep this on you. You need it later. All right, uh, let's go. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, how are we doing in here? We're good. Okay. All right. I am curious. Let's take a peek around this place. Oh, that's crazy looking. I don't think I've ever been back in here. Well, that, that may be one reason why I don't want to go back in there. But I'll go ahead and take that. Let's turn on our light so we can see what we've got going on. Why don't you give me a uh, sodium nitrate? We do need that. Let's get some sodium. Uh, what's in here? Take that because obviously you can turn it into ferrite at a 2 to 1 ratio. What do we get? Ugh, go figure. Microprocessor. Grr. Okay. 
I'm glad we found this place. Alright. It's the exit, I think. Oh, no, that's outside. Nope, that's to our ship. So that was to the back area. Okay. Alright. Behind where the trader guy used to sit. Doesn't look like there's anything laying around in here, including navigation data. Alright. Very good. Well, we can gather some whispering eggs. You know what's funny? So I'm pretty sure... Let's uh, collect some rewards while we're here. Launch fuel plans. Uh, special packet. Buried launch. We have good start for Okay, great. So we got some stuff out of that. Yep. So we're going to put this in our ship. We're going to use this on our ship. I don't know what kind of launch it'll give us. Well, that's not bad. That's just a little bit, but still. Okay, well, we'll get some value out of it. No big deal. Gives us a little extra money. Kind of cheap. Okay. Um, if I remember correctly, we have a new reward to get over here. Let's go ahead and collect that. Yeah, for our submarine that we're never going to build. But, what did we get out of that? We got this, which is a glitch. I don't know if we're going to keep it or not, whatever. And we really don't need this. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. I don't need it. Okay. And I want to say, let me just check this out real quick, because at some point, I think it's in this phase, you have to collect green tendrils. Somewhere. Hold on. I want to see if I can't find it. Creatures on that world. Okay. Okay, I'm not seeing it there. So, I thought we had to collect... Oh, humming sacks is what we needed to collect. That's right, and adopt a companion, which we can do here if we want to. Okay. We have to just make... food. Ah, can't craft it outside of the base. Ah. Alright, we'll get it on the next planet, no big deal. But, we can collect some whispering eggs and get a little extra money, can't we? I can do one round here, start here, and I'll work my way around. You know, Mario theme music would be great here right about now. Good deal. Hey, buddy. And the thing is, we can just sell it right in there. So, that's pretty cool. Oh, I thought I got out of the way enough. <laughs> this is convenient. Didn't expect this, so... Oh, didn't get an egg out of that one. Awesome. This is convenient. Hey, buddy. Excuse me. Alright. We don't need a whole lot of credits. So... That gets us up to almost a million. I think we're in good shape. I don't really need any more. That was hilarious. I can't believe we landed here like this, so... Alright. Let's go ahead and take our ship and... Let's do a little uh, grazing, shall we? Uh, I always like to be in first-person mode. I do need... Um... See, we got some carbon out of that. That's good. Oh, more like... Oops, sorry. That means we killed some creatures I didn't mean to.
We'll die hydrogen. That's always nice. One more carbon. It's the ferrite dust that we're really interested in here, folks. I mean, if we can get some, you know, other stuff. Right, let's keep circling around here. This seems to be a pretty good spot. Make sure you fly slow. Oh, I kind of kissed the ground there a little bit. More ferrite dust, that's great. Now, if we can get to a mountain. Meaty chunks, great. There's a good spot right there. It's not populating yet. There we go. Oh, gather as much of that as you can, my friends. There we go. That looks great. Alright, let's slow down just a touch. No landing. Let's check out what we got. Good deal. Nice. And we got some pure ferrite out of that too. We got some oxygen, of course. Got a ton of carbon and condensed carbon. These guys, I'm not sure we're going to do anything with. We don't really need it. Uh, and some hydro hydrogen. That's pretty good. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Alright, and is this, I believe, where we came from? Yes, it is. Okay. So, very, very nice. So, that gives us a good 2,000 that we can get. So, we'd, like I said, we need a lot of pure ferrite. So, just go ahead and take half of it and go ahead and do something with it now. You might as well. So, let's just take half and throw it in here. up to full charge and just get that pure ferrite going and we'll need some copper later on so we will go ahead and look for more copper on the next planet so let's get to that first rendezvous like it said I think that's our next uh, let's get our reward here my bad okay exo suit up uh, exo uh oh whoa kaboom that was a big kaboom there Wow. I have yet to see it crash that harshly like that. That's a, that, I haven't seen it crash that harshly in a very, very long time. That was a big crash. Hello, games. It happens. The good news is, is that, uh, you know, the game tends to... Um, save on a regular basis. So let's see how far we got. Uh, that was literally one minute ago. One minute. So we hopefully didn't lose a whole heck of a lot. Let's see what happens. Alright. So hopefully this shouldn't take but a moment to zoom in. I like the eerie music in the background. That's convenient for what just happened. Now I wish I could tell you I had an RTX card in here, but I do not. So it may be that I may have overloaded my uh, video card too. 
So we'll see what happens. I'm just going to hope that we have all the resources that we uh, had collected. Otherwise, i got to do it over again, which I'll do after the episode. I won't do it right now. Sooner or later, we're actually going to pop in here. There we go. Should do it any second now. Oh, wow. And in the ship still. That's crazy. Yep, got everything. Yep, see, 2,000. It hadn't done this, so that's interesting. It's a combination of things that I think happened, so that's pretty cool. Hmm? Oh, I didn't know we had a supercharged slot on there. over here. Okay. Oh, hello. Yep. <laughs> Kaboom. <laughs> Alright. Let's take a look again. Collect our reward. Uh, fuel system upgrade. Exocraft technology blueprints package. Okay. So what we're going to get is we're just going to get the rest of the uh, exocrafts and some technology that we normally get with it. But you know what? We're probably never going to be doing the exocraft again at this point. Okay, we have to register our success on our first planet, so let's head out. Alrighty. Into the Atmo. So as you can see, there is our space station right over there. But we're not going to be going there right now. We don't have to anymore. We will go there at some point. We're going to be passing by it on our way to our next rendezvous our next planet so we will stop there and we'll purchase up what supplies they do have um, and now that I've reached outpost alpha I may do a little scouting around and gather up some copper so like I said take some time out gather up as much copper as you can turn it into as much chromatic metal as you can and the outposts with the exception of I think one are all giant um, archives so just keep your eyes peeled. It'll pop up on the landscape. There it is over on the left. One's a landing platform that's, you know, abandoned. This one will be abandoned as well. No, no, no. I don't want to land there. I want to land there. Got a little picky. Sorry. Oh, good. It's going to turn me around. Used to be a Gex system, huh? That's interesting. Alright, so here we are. As you can see, it is creepily abandoned. While you're here, hit the trade terminal. See if there's anything else you can get. You're not going to get a lot because it is an abandoned system. Okay? Uh, hmm, dihydrogen jellies. We kind of do need as many of those as we can get. You don't need a solar mirror that I'm aware of. I seem to recall we might need one. I'm going to wait. All right. Hey, that's nice. Uranium. Residual goop. We don't need it. Okay. And let's just go ahead and complete this out. We'll complete out the episode. Thank you for staying with me. Welcome to Utopia Output Al Outpost Alpha Settler. Please identify yourself using the terminal complete planetary registration. We log in. Verifying settler credentials. Log in successfully. Utopia thanks you for your prompt registration. Please proceed to Outpost Beta to receive details of your next restoration assignment. And that's it. And your first milestone is complete. First phase is complete. I'm hitting the wrong button. All right. Let's take a look in our inventory real quick. So, I have these. Okay. Why did I do that? Because I want to turn these into dihydrogen. So this is giving me a... 
Yeah, it's giving me 40 back. So now they've, they've basically evened it out. So 40 to 40 now, from now on. Okay, good deal. So while I'm waiting on that, let's go back here. Um, these I'm going to turn into, I think... I can't craft any right now. Okay, so let's just pull these down. This is going to go on my starship. i got to get closer to it. Okay. Exocraft. Yeah, we can't use that. We're going to turn that in at some point. Well, we can't even turn them in because there's nowhere to sell these. So that's interesting. I'm going to hang on to the meat for now in case I get damaged in some way. Uh, we have one more blast off with our launch thruster before I'll need more. But we can use this. Right? Still? Yes, we can. So let's go ahead and I don't know what's going on here. Hold on. Go ahead. And we recharged it. Good. Okay. That looks good. We're in good shape. And I'm going to put this over into the starship uh, for now. Same thing with you and you. Uh, you we're going to put over here. We've got plenty of cobalt now, that's for sure. Let me change places with those. Change? Trade places with those. Got plenty of dihydrogen now. Excellent. Okay. We're looking pretty good. A good amount of oxygen, too. Alright, so we should be in good shape. Let's correct our... Correct. Collect our rewards. Which is going to be upgrades. Now, you can put it in your inventory here. I'm just going to go ahead and add one. But I'm telling you right now, you're going to need it in your technology spots. Trust me. Okay. And we get that. Okay, let's see what else we got. We've got a whole bunch of nanites, as you can see, so that's good. Uh, we got a planetary chart out of this. So what this will do is bring us to an ancient ruined site, and we can get some money from whatever we gather there. So that's a good way to make some money. Go ahead and get rid of your fireworks. You don't need them. Okay. And I think that's it. You'll notice that one of these is supercharged. So I'm going to go ahead and put you in there. Very good. And I'm tired of looking at you blinking at me. Okay, good. So, that should be it. Multi-tools ready. I'm not worried about the exocraft. Okay, good. And that should take care of everything we need. So, like I said, I'm, afterwards I'm going to go ahead and get my extra um, animal that I've been looking for. And I'm going to go ahead and search for some copper. copper. And then we'll pick up on episode 2 where we'll head out to Outpost Beta. Thank you all for watching. Please hit that like button and feel free to subscribe. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section. I'm always glad to answer any questions. Or uh, at least I appreciate your comments, so I'll at least throw a like at you every now and then. Okay? Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.